it would have been a travesty if this remained unused. You'd be missing out on those complex counterpoints. Terraria Calamity fans be like, more, more reaction videos. Okay. Wow, okay. This has some nasty, sinister underwater vibes right here. Like you're exploring the deep, dark parts of the water, like the bottom of the ocean. There's this feeling of dread and danger. And that is mostly due to the more aggressive sounding synths with those distorted, glitchy sounds. The mode of the song mostly staying in a minor key, which is the common style of chord progression, the common type of harmonic keys for the more dramatic, for the more serious sounding style of songs. Just like the song Wasteland and Sanctuary, I feel like the melodic approach of this song is also a little bit improvisatory because it sounds really dynamic, very unpredictable. Those descending synths sounded like somebody screaming, giving this some sort of creepy ambience. Yeah, he held on with a pedal tone technique for the huge part of the beginning. I explained before, a pedal tone is a technique in musical composition where you have a continuous single note in the bass line while the upper notes change harmonies, change chord progressions. They move around, but they try to stay within the harmonic family of whatever the bass line is. That is a technique that you see in Bach's fugue music, for example.
really gorgeous use of a descending chord sequence. The bass line and the harmonies progressively does a chromatic step down for eight bars or something. This just really supports the creepy vibe, the creepy feeling to the entire composition where it is like you're slowly falling, slowly descending, slowly drowning, represented by this descending chord progression in the music. That was very creepy and scary, but in a beautiful way. I'm always very excited to check out new video game music, so suggest me some in the comments. Void, theme of the lower abyss. Let's listen. Oh my god, okay. First off, wonderful use of the harp, the sinister sounding chord progression in a minor key, and then you hear the beautiful sound of a harp. For me, I always find the sound of the harp really magical. There's this enchanting quality to it, whatever type of music it's playing, whether it's playing a minor key or a major key, it doesn't matter. The harp will always sound enchanting and magical, however you put it at least in my own personal opinion. What I'm imagining here with the title Void is like a space void, like the blackness of outer space. And it can be scary, it can be overwhelming and 
like this massive emptiness. But then comes in the harp to kind of soothe you, to comfort you, make you feel... Thank you, car park car, to give you some comfort in this vast emptiness. subtle use of dissonance in those descending chords while that echoey single vocal line floats in the background oh my god it further expands the mystery of this huge emptiness that i'm imagining in my head Wow, the fact that Diem Dukuro chose to restrain himself from using drum beats as opposed to how he really utilized drum beats in most of the songs in the soundtrack, this really gives it a more intentional floatiness approach. The feeling of floating, unstable, you have no solid ground to step on. Oh my god, all these descending harmonies with a very somber use of the strings. It feels really depressing, very melancholic, very sad. Like you lost the will to live or something like that. Maybe a game over screen? I don't know. You tell me. This chord right here, this is so spicy. It's all clashing notes, but used in a very intentional way to make you feel uneasy.
There is no hope. There's only despair and massive feeling of emptiness. That is the vibe that I'm getting from this music. Threats of the Ocean Floor. So apparently I was initially informed that this is a scrapped soundtrack. But upon further research, aka delving into the very reliable YouTube comment sections, I eventually deduced that this was eventually used in the soundtrack. So I'm going to include this in the reaction now. Let's go. Threats of the Ocean Floor, aka Abyss Mini Bosses Theme. Okay, immediately we're bombarded with massive electro-symphonic orchestra vibes with a sinister sounding tune to it. Okay, let us break down that initial section. The reason why it's sounding sinister and, to be honest, very war-like, I'm hearing some huge-sounding taikos or the Japanese giant drums. In cinema, they are usually associated with war films or war battle scenes. You would hear them in the battle scenes of Lord of the Rings, that one huge fight scene in, in The Hunger Games, and so on and so forth. The reason why is because it's massive sounding. It invigorates you. It, it's also very rhythmic. You hear that rim shot, boom, and you hear that wooden clack that is so aggressive sounding. And at the same time, he's added those overpowering synth brasses with a little bit of distortion. So it cuts through your ear. Boom! It's so sinister sounding. It's like a sharp knife cutting through your soul. Yeah, wow. It would have been a travesty if this remained unused in the game, in the mod. You'd be missing out on those complex counterpoints 
that DM Dokuro has been using in his more Baroque orchestral crossover compositions in the soundtrack and there's a lot of them i'm glad that it eventually got used because this is another masterpiece so many masterpieces in the soundtrack Okay, wow, that's even more paired with actual real brass sounds. That is such an aggressive mix right there. DM Dokuro is such a master of the drop. He's so creative in catching you off guard and then just giving you that satisfying drop. There's so many ways he's already done it that he's pulled the rug, removed the rhythm for like a fraction of a second and then boom, it's back and then you're vibing. Beautiful. And for more of my content, click here.